Since the beginning of the space age, several probes were sent to Mars, and these autonomous scientific observers revolutionized our understanding of the Red Planet. More than once, we had to adjust our assumptions to the new facts. One of these surprising discoveries was the water ice on the surface of the Korolev crater. Furthermore, we found several hints on the surface for liquid water in the past. How long these favorable conditions prevailed and whether there was enough time to develop life is still unclear. Mars is only a small planet with a low mass and it would be hard for him to keep liquid water and a thick atmosphere. Little reminder. The aggregate state of water depends on the air pressure. But through the lack of a global magnetic field, it is impossible for him because the solar wind can carry off the upper atmosphere unhindered. The first direct evidence of past water and pictures of the ice-covered polar caps delivered 1971 the Mariner 9 probe. The first probe which landed softly on the red planet was in the same year, the Soviet Mars 3. But unfortunately, after 110 seconds, the probe stopped operating for unknown reasons. Therefore, the Viking 1 lander is considered the first successful Mars landing. The American Viking program consisted of two orbiters with lander units and were launched in August and September 1975 with a Titan Centura rocket. One of the Viking orbiters took also the famous picture of the Happy Face crater. The landing on Mars is because of the thin atmosphere not easy, as the long list of failed landings shows. Therefore, I consider it to this day an odd decision that the European Space Agency has cancelled the retro rockets on the Beagle 2 lander for cost reasons. But the Viking 1 and 2 landers were successful and sent back the first pictures from the surface of the planet. In addition, these landers were equipped with a scientific laboratory and conducted three biology experiments. They showed that the surface of Mars is as sterile as an operating table in a hospital should be. But in the last time, this result was doubted. The next mission was Mars Pathfinder 1997, and through a new sophisticated landing procedure, this mission was successful. Especially the little rover Sojourner won many fans on Earth and caused great enthusiasm for the exploration of the Red Planet. This mission was followed by the Mars Global Surveyor Orbiter, and this probe found several hints for existing water ice on different locations and even small traces of recent liquid processes. 2001 arrived the Mars Odyssey Orbiter at the Red Planet and refined our understanding. E.g. this probe found pure water ice beneath the surface at both poles of the planet. Then came two Mars rover, Spirit and Opportunity, from the Mars Exploration Rover Program. They studied the surface for several years and have not only excelled all expectations, but have set a whole series of records. In addition, the very successful European orbiter Mars Express started its observations and found several times interesting results. Based on data from High Resolution Stereo Camera, HRSC, there is geological evidence of an ancient planet-wide groundwater system and as a result of the data from the Mars Advanced Radar for Subsurface and Long Sphere Sounding Marsis, scientists confirmed in September 2020 the existence of several large saltwater lakes under ice in the South Polar region. 2005 followed the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and detected dust devils and even more craters with pure water ice. But the most surprising discovery were the signs of flowing water on Mars. Three years later, the stationary lander Phoenix arrived. One picture in particular triggered a major discussion and was later confirmed as presence of water ice just below the surface. In 2012, Curiosity, the largest rover to date, made its debut. Therefore, the engineers developed the Sky Crane, because using a ramp at the landing procedure was through the size and weight of the rover no longer a practical possibility.
One year later, the orbiter MAVEN started his work and still analyzing the upper atmosphere and ionosphere of Mars. Thus, several orbiter and lander were on site simultaneously so that the orbiter could serve as a relay station for robots on the planet's surface. Then came the last probe to date, the stationary probe InSight, before the rover Perseverance will arrive in February 2021 at Mars, which will be covered in a separate video. InSight investigate the interior of the planet with a seismometer and using a heat probe to measure the internal heat flow of the planet. Thank you for your time. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe.